proclaim to you the great and amazing love of God with which God has loved us and this evening my friends I want you to just know one thing even if it wouldn't know any other thing and that is the fact that God's heart is longing to receive every soul who will believe. God's heart is yearning to receive every man back to himself. The Bible declares in all certain terms that all have sinned and falling short of the glory of God. You know there are many things people argue about. There are many issues that people argue about, but there is something that none of us will be able to argue about. And that is the fact that we have all sinned. The best of everyone, the best of us, is still a sinner. I know there are some who will try to pretend as if this were not true. There are those who have a good opinion about themselves and who will say everything is all right with them. But there is these truths that God has declared in his word that even at our best we are sinned and falling short of God's glory. This is the very reason God sent his one and only begotten son Jesus into this world. Jesus came into this world because of the love with which he has loved us. Because when God saw our weaknesses, when he saw your failures, saw your sins, my friend walking on the street, when God saw your faults, when he saw my failures and saw all our wicked ways, saw all our perversions, when he saw all our thefts, our arrogance, our pride, our jealousies, our rivalries, all our selfish ways and sexual perversions. When God saw all these things, he know there is only one thing that awaits every one of us, and that is condemnation Bible declares that because of these things the wrath of God is reserved for the children of disobedience and my friend you and I are guilty of this some have lived their life in wickedness some are murderers some have hated in their hearts there are some who will willingly kill a fellow for money. For so many, even in the crowd, passing, money is your God. Money is all you live for. There are those who will despise God only to get their own will. And my friend, if God will to judge you this very moment, if God were to come to you this very moment or to come to any of us, Bible makes it clear that God has nothing else to do with us but to bring judgment. But my friend, this is the very reason Jesus came into this world. The very reason Jesus came into this world is because of this great salvation which is available to us. You may be hearing this for the first time or this may be another opportunity for you to consider. Listen, this is so important because my friend, none of us have a guarantee of a tomorrow. So many wonder why we do this. It is because we do not know the hour or the time when God will call for your life. There is the story in the Bible of a rich man. The Bible calls him the rich fool. And let me tell you something about this man. This man had so much, he had so much harvest. And after he had vested everything, he said to himself, My soul rests. Enjoy yourself 
for you have so much. Bible declares that that very night God came to him and requested his life from him. Oh, yeah. And God asked him, what then shall he profit a man? He begins the whole world. My friend, you work in the big establishment. You perhaps work in one of the top companies and you're paid handsomely. You have properties, you have everything the world will, anybody in this world will desire. The Bible says, what shall it profit a man? What shall it profit a woman? He begins the whole world and loses his soul. What shall a man give in exchange for his life? Bible declares that man, the Bible calls him a rich fool. He was a fool because why he lived, he despised God. Why he lived, he rejected God. Why he lived, God meant nothing to him. And my friend, there are many of you who are living now and your life has no desire for God. There is no room for God in your life, in your decisions, in your thoughts. You go about life, but you give no thought about God. Listen, the Bible calls you a big fool. It's not a pleasant word to hear. Neither do I want anybody to use that word for me. But I plead with you, if you don't want God to call you a fool, listen, it will be better if a fellow man calls you a fool. At least you can be sure they are mistaken. But when God calls you a fool, then you are a fool indeed. Let me tell you what it is to be called a fool. It is a fool to reject God while you are living. So many of you are living, you are in this crowd, you are rejecting God and His way. God calls you a fool. It is foolish to reject the, God, the ways and the counsel of God. It is foolish to go on your own way. It is foolish to live for tribal things, to live for temporal things. It is foolish to live for pleasures of this world. Young people hear this. It is foolish for you to think that sex will satisfy your soul. There is only one person who can truly satisfy the hunger in any soul, and that is Jesus Christ. Only Jesus truly satisfies. Only Jesus can quench the hunger in any soul. And until you find Jesus, and until you make Jesus your Lord and personal Savior, ugly as that word may be, bad as that word may be, God calls you a fool. God calls you a foolish man and a foolish woman. Listen, let me tell you. It is foolish to build your life upon worldly possessions. It is a foolish thing to trust in riches. It is foolish to live for worldly pleasures alone. It is foolish to trust in man. In fact, it is foolish to trust in mortal man. But listen, let me tell you the reason Jesus came into this world. Jesus came to redeem you and I from this foolish ways. Jesus came to make you truly wise. Oh, only Jesus gives a wisdom for living. And until you find Jesus, you, the Bible calls a fool, Nobody wants to be called this. Nobody wants to be addressed this way. But only when you turn to the Lord Jesus Christ can you be truly wise. Oh, there are many who think they